Brad, this is a match. It's not about titles. It's not about championships. It's not even about winning and losing, Brad. This is gang warfare. The Pillars and Kill Screen. Yeah, Dustin said, that eight-man tag team match. Uh, something tells me there ain't gonna be many tags in this match. The pillars, all four of them standing tall and in, in, in a united front here, Brad. As speculation for the last couple of weeks was going around, was Sebastian Suave going to be here tonight? We, we saw the ultimatum laid out there by Anthony Kingdom James that it's me or it's the pillars. Sebastian Suave here tonight standing tall with Brad, the pillars. Are you right about that? Tarek leading the pillars to the ring. Tarek decked out in camouflage, that's a great ring gear choice for today is tonight is going to be an absolute war. Brent Banks on the way to the ring made eye contact with me and gave me a face that I've never seen Brent Banks make before. Focused. All four of these men. And Brad, with all four of these guys on the same page, is can anyone stop them? I don't think so. If all four of the pillars remain on the same page throughout this match and fight for the better of Smash Wrestling, I don't think anything comes close. I don't even think they're fighting for Smash Wrestling, Brad. They're, they're fighting for the four of them and the brotherhood they've created. But here comes Brad, a group of men that view the pillars as everything that is wrong with Smash Wrestling. They want to expunge the pillars. They want to extinguish the pillars. Scott, I've got goosebumps. This is gonna be nuts. Oh well, yeah, look at that. Look at the focus there on Scotty O'Shea as he leads his minions to war in a battle here tonight. And Brad, it looks like we have yet another new member of Kill Screen here tonight. Unbelievable. There's a there's fans in the crowd doing the kill screen hand sign. And that's what I mean, Brad. That, that is the influence that Scotty O'Shea has. And unfortunately, as kill screen grows, so too does the platform of Scotty O'Shea. And the bigger platform Scotty O'Shea has, the more people he can recruit. It is a dangerous and vicious cycle that we have here with kill screen. How many of them are there? Well, I mean, if you include the fans in the crowd here, there's. No, are they fans? They could be thousands. Are I they fans? It. I don't know. Or are look they, at this. Or are they kill Look screen? at this as the pillars and kill screen drawing the battle lines here tonight. And there's the belt, and here we go. No holds barred, pillars, kill screen. One fall to a finish, and, and here, here we, we go, go, Brad. This is a brawl. <laughs> Folks watching at home, I apologize. I'm not going to be able to call all of this. Neither is Scott. No one's going to be able to call all this. The official can't call all of it. It's his job. I, I don't think there are any rules in the book that can contain this match. Yeah, no kidding. This is a gang war. You see Swab taking it to Chris Mitchell's. Cross arm chops to the face. And Chris Mitchell, that's a, it's oh. worth noting as well, Brad, that Chris Mitchell was a student of Tyson Dukes' Wrestle, Wrestle Factory. Kill Screen recruited one of Dukes' own. And it, it just goes to show that whatever Scotty O'Shea has over these guys is so powerful because we just saw the united front of Jordan James and Alec Realm as the Wrestle Factory. And now we see another Wrestle Factory graduate under the brainwashed control of Scotty O'Shea. Right, Brad, I don't think that it's Scott O'Shea has anything on these guys anymore. I mean, when Kill Screen first started, back when it was O'Shea and Blackwood, that's what it was all about, is that O'Shea was dangling that secret, that dirty secret over the head of Kevin Blackwood. But I think it's Kill Screen has evolved from that, Brad. Kill Screen has evolved it. People are buying what Scotty O'Shea is selling, and it's not that he holds any kind of collateral over their heads. It's that Scotty O'Shea is leading these men or whatever he's done these are the or whatever he's convinced them of whatever the, the grass is greener and closer whatever it is it's working and it's it's damn sure effective oh was oh, a death valley driver there from tyson dukes we actually have a wrestling move in this thing 
and a Larian. Down goes the unknown kill screen member. But Brad, in many ways, kill screen. Scotty O'Shea has recruited, for lack of a better term, the forgotten souls of Smash Wrestling. People that were trying to break their way into this company and otherwise couldn't. Scotty O'Shea opened oh. the door for these guys. Someone like a Mark Wheeler, who's been making names for himself all over Ontario, couldn't crack the roster here in Smash Wrestling until Scotty O'Shea showed him the light. Guys like Chris Mitchell, who's like, let's face it, Brad, he's jumped ahead of the line here yeah, in no Smash kidding. Wrestling. Those are all valid points, Scott. As Tarek taken out O'Shea. Well, and let's not lose focus on what it's also done for Anthony Gates. The forgotten Buffalo brother he refers to himself as. Yeah. I mean, everything you bring up, it's dangerously scary. I'm starting to wonder if you might know something, Scott. Oh, I, I'm starting to understand Scotty O'Shea, I think, Brad, a little bit. As Sebastian Swab now goes for a top rope. Guillotine here. There's a triangle choke, rather, sorry. And there's no rules. He can hold that as long as he wants. His kill screen is banding together to rip him off of Mark Wheeler. But there, there's an obvious strategy to where Scotty O'Shea has done his recruiting. But there is an obvious strategy here from the Pillars who are focusing the bulk of their attack on the head of the snake. Trying to take out Scotty O'Shea. And now it is Dukes and Wheeler with a stare down in the ring. The look on Wheeler's face right now says it all. Hang on, whoa. Wait, what? Ah! Dukes just dumping Wheeler on top of everybody on the outside. A body slam to the floor, and hang on. It's Dukes and Brent Banks, former Smash Wrestling Tag Team Champions, working together! And Banks taking out everybody! And this is just broken down. As Banks just launches a sacrificial lamb of kill screen to awaiting Tyson Dukes. And now Swath throws O'Shea to the ring. Oh, right onto the kill screen guy. Is that his official name? I don't think he has an official name. Kill screen 976. And Dukes just stacking up kill screen on top of each other. Oh no. What is Tarek thinking? Well, Tarek's looking to end kill screen once and for all here tonight. Oh, oh my god! Oh. What an elbow drop! Right to the heart of the beast. One night only, a four for one special. And there's that unknown member of Kill Screen that was at the bottom of the pile. Hey, he's in a rough spot right now, isn't he, Scott? Well, yes. Yeah, the pillars establishing dominance in the ring right now. Tyson Dukes, the stomp. Now, looking for the Boston Crab, and this thing might be over already. This thing could be over before it really even gets started. Meanwhile, there's still a brawl going on outside the ring. Oh, Wheeler, One Wheeler in. there for the save. With that super kick, and now it's Wheeler and Sebastian Suave in the ring. And another super. Takes out the knee this time. And O'Shea saying, hang on a second. Holding oh. Suave in position, nowhere to go. And now O'Shea calling the orders out. But Brent Banks trying to fight back now for the pillars. And Brent Banks is in. He's got a head of steam. Oh! O'Shea takes up the legs from underneath Banks and now holds him in place for Wheeler. And this thing's just turned into all kill screen. And there's a Smash Wrestling Champion. Tarek still standing tall, catches the foot of Wheeler. Oh, and a straight jab from the champion. Oh. Another one. Oh, this guy's taking a beating. Oh, a big boot. That caught Tarek right in the face. Now looking for a pump handle slam here. And he drives the champion into the mat, but here comes Dukes from behind. Nice and Dukes shot to the back. Forearm shot right to the face. Meeting the minds. And a butterfly suplex. Well, whoever this guy is, he knows how to wrestle. And O'Shea just threw Chris Mitchells into the ring. And now he's going to let the lackeys do the work for him. And Dukes. Taking both of them out with a couple of lariats. And the pillars standing tall. 
As you saw Tyson Dukes, he just planted all the pillars that hold up the London Music Hall, representing the four pillars in the ring right now. They hold this house together. And Wheeler with the save there, but he's gonna bite the bullet instead. Oh. One shot, one kill, might have just taken out Wheeler. And now, Mitchells and Dukes. Mitchells counters Dukes into the corner. Lands on his feet, now Dukes dragging Mitchells to the center of the ring. And how about this, Chris Mitchells is going one-on-one -on -one here with his own trainer, oh. willingly. But from behind, Sebastian Suave. Mitchells went for a punch, and now Suave and Mitchells. And now in the ring. And again, there are no rules. He can hold that as long as he wants, but he's in a dangerous position here for O'Shea. Oh, the control delete. off the lead. But hang on behind O'Shea. Here's Tarek. And here's Brent Banks. Oh, well, we've seen this before. Wheelbarrow flatliner there from the former Steady Ballers. One steady ballers, now steady pillars, Scott. And O'Shea is down and out. And rather than go for a cover here, the pillars aren't done. They don't want to just win this match, they want to end this war. Tarek and Banks both going up top. Wheeler trying to pick the ankle of Tarek, and he does. The unknown kill screen member just sent Banks to the floor. It's almost as if O'Shea stayed laying in wait, trying to sucker the pillars into that. Oh no. Oh, and now is the pillars surrounding the champion in the center of the ring. And the pillars taking out three, and now it's just O'Shea and Tarek left. And the look on O'Shea's face says everything. He can't believe he just what said just where, happened. He just said, where'd they go? He's got to focus his attack on, on Tarek here, as Tarek's still trying to fight back, and now the pillars and O'Shea, he looks like he's seen a ghost, Scott. Well, yeah, this is exactly what he didn't want. He's alone in the ring, and he, he views himself, Brad, as the forgotten pillar. Yeah. And now he is going to take a beating here from the four pillars. Oh! Brent Banks got so excited for that kick, he jumped higher than Tarek did. And now it's the pillars surrounding O'Shea. Again, trying to cut off the head of the snake. And O'Shea has nowhere to go. And yeah, o O'Shea, I, it's almost a look of fear on the face of O'Shea, and now he's laughing. Wait a second. Kill screen coming alive again in your seats. There's there's fans in the crowd. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Wait a minute, what the hell? I just wait a second. Oh, this is wait. This is a lot more than four on four. You saw the the smile come on the face of O'Shea. This is a mugging now. Well, this is the gang mentality of Kill Screen. How many of them are there? Looks like there's at least two with each pillar. And now, and now Banks is alone in the ring. And he's surrounded by the four official members of this match. Oh, Banks with a knee! Well, he's got to fight his way out of this, Brad. He's fighting for survival here. Oh! Super kick from Banks! Brad, he's going to do it! Banks looking for a slice, Brad! He connects with it! They got, oh, wheel over the chair. And again, there's no disqualifications. Oh, oh my God. And Wheeler into the, the cover. Over, and that's it. Hill Street wins this four. Mark Wheeler hits the revolver. And oh shit, look at the. How proud O'Shea is of Mark Wheeler. And it's almost as if 
Wheeler looked at O'Shea to, to ask him, did I make you proud? And now, look, How at, many are look there? at this sight. Scotty O'Shea stands alone with all his children as Killstream has just vanquished the Pillars. How many are there? Your guess is as good as mine. It, it looks like it's ever growing. It's omnipresent. Kill screen not only lives, Scott, but they're victorious. Kill screen is an idea, and you cannot kill an idea. And it exists in the sick, twisted, and sadistic mind of Scotty O'Shea. Brad, I don't, I don't know what else to say after what we just saw other than, I mean, we'll have to tune in next week to see what happens with, with Kill Screen. No kidding, we thought we were gonna have more answers after a match like that, but Scott, I have, I have a billion questions now. I don't know where to go from it. Only O'Shea does.